It was supposed to be a special birthday lunch years in the making. Well, it's his birthday today. And this was our plan was to go to Crab Pot for his birthday because he's never had it. Michael Cuno's sister flew in from L.A. for the occasion, but when they arrived at Miner's Landing, they found everything closed. And we're just now seeing the disappointment. I'm going to cry. It's crazy. I know. You've been wanting to do this for so long. The owners of Pier 57 say it's another blow to what has been a tough year for business. A major drop in tourism, COVID restrictions, smoke and civil unrest have kept customers away. We were already hurt e economically and this just puts the, uh, it doesn't put the nail in the coffin, but it it doesn't help. Pier 57 is structurally sound. The concern is another collapse next to it. Underneath our pier is galvanized steel pipe, um, in many cases filled with concrete and rebar. So our pier is extremely strong. But if there was a failure in Pier 58 that would come at us sideways, it could have a devastating effect on the pier. Well, the city has told business owners they're going to shut down electricity to the pier, and that means the lights to the Great Wheel, which has become part of Seattle's skyline, they're going to be dark during the closure. Sorry, we're closed. It wasn't no, no. our choice. Despite the cloudy day, traffic on the waterfront was pretty good. They don't know how long the closure will last, but they're trying to help the dozens of employees who work here and doing their best with customers who say it's tough to find things to celebrate anymore. It's like the icing to the cake of 2020, you know. Amy Marino, King 5 News.